Shalom. Greetings from Jerusalem and welcome to Lunchtime Prayer for Israel. We're on day nine or part nine of the fall feasts and the title is A Time of Humility. When we are honest and really see our sin through God's eyes, there's only one reaction, only one response. Horror. Psalms 38, 18. For I will declare my iniquity and I will be sorry for my sin. That will lead us to humble ourselves before the Holy One of Israel. Reading from 2 Samuel 22, verse 28. You will save the humble people, but your eyes are on the haughty, that you may bring them down. The Hebrew word translated as poor, ani, means afflicted, poor, often with the idea of piety. It's not about money. It's about the innermost being, being humble before God. And Matthew, Jesus said in Matthew 5, 3, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. God will only listen to the humble. And we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, which will come when Israel humbles herself before God. Oh, Father, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem when Israel will finally humble herself before God and call out, help, we cannot do it ourselves. Father, you hate the proud, you hate the haughty, and yet everything that is within us, in our flesh, we love those who say, I can do it, I can do it. We say, aren't they strong? But in your kingdom, it is the weak who say, I cannot. It is in our weakness that you show yourself strong. And that's what we pray for Israel, that they will finally humble themselves before you and say, we are poor. Help us, Lord God. And we pray this in Jesus' name, who is so ready to help Israel. Amen. Yes, how, how different the Lord's ways are than ours. We look at people who say, well, I am terrific and I can do it and look what I've done. And we say, great, they're so confident and it's wonderful. And God goes, no way. So with that, I say, lehitraot, shalom from Jerusalem.